So it's the hot topic. Roman, Logan, is it going to happen? Oh, it looks like it. This all started from the Impulsive podcast this past week. And of course, this week on SmackDown, they showed you the tweets leading up to Logan Paul returning to WWE. He stood in the ring. He challenged Roman to a press conference tomorrow. And Paul Heyman finally returned to SmackDown with the bloodline to give Logan a piece of his mind. This promo was really really good. They even mentioned Jake Paul versus Anderson Silva, really getting into that mainstream vibe, making WWE feel important. We got a knockout shot from Logan Paul to show all it takes is one lucky shot. So what do you think? Is Logan Paul the one to defeat Roman Reigns? I don't know. But the press conference is official for tomorrow. The only thing I've got to complain about is they put Crown Jewel press conference. How do they know they're going to challenge each other at Crown Jewel? Mm, There's a bit of an inconsistency there by WWE. But I spot the wild Ryan Satin sat there behind Michael Cole. This is Stings you might have missed for Friday Night Smackdown. Make sure you've hit the like button. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button too. We interrupt this broadcast for an important message from Firefly Funhouse News. Newsbreak. Now, people begged me today to make this video. Honestly, I don't think this Meltzer report is anything to go by. He's just basically said two things that either one is guaranteed to happen. Either Bray goes to WWE or he doesn't. And either way, Meltzer looks like he's correct. But what did interest me is during SmackDown, Bray Wyatt changed his Twitter bio. He who opens the door below. Now, for all we know, this could be part of his movie. Have you ever considered that? Mmm. L.A. Knight. It's the way he said L.A. They looked off to the side and it was Maxine Dupree who sort of snapped him out of it. But we have to start by saying a massive thank you to Braun Strowman. Because it was just going back to school collection for Maximum Male Models this week. And luck. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you very much, Braun Strowman. It's very much appreciated. Otis and Gable attack, though. Otis, world's strongest slam. Braun Strowman's impression of The Undertaker. Do you know what? They're making Braun look amazing. So, well done for that, WWE. Really, really like this. It was a fatal four-way number one contender spot for the tag team titles. But don't worry, Triple H. I'm pretty sure no one actually noticed you completely swap three of the teams who were originally meant to be in this match. But it was a still a very good match, which the Brawling Brutes won. Ridge Holland and Butch will face the Usos next week. Could we get Sheamus versus Roman out of this? Down the road, maybe? I mean, I'm all for this. Nice face turn for the Brawling Brutes. Makes Butch important. Keep this going, please, WWE. Karrion Cross last week destroyed Drew McIntyre in a lights out segment at the end of the show. Doomsday Cross was on SmackDown this week with another promo with Scarlett by his side talking about Drew's time coming up, saying he was about to rewrite history. I really like the feel and the vibe you get from Cross's promos. Would like to see him wrestle just a little bit more though, please, WWE. There was also a great promo from Drew McIntyre later on in the night where it felt like WWE hadn't given him time. So he went out there and he made it for himself. Really like that. Now, if you attended SmackDown tonight, you could have got this exclusive to venue SmackDown t-shirt. I thought this was actually pretty cool. Nice little t-shirt there by WWE. We had Ricochet versus Sami Zayn as the first match of the night. Pretty good match to actually start off the show, but something really interesting was said during the start of this match by commentary. They actually referenced that Ricochet and Sami Zayn faced each other years and years ago in PWG. WWE acknowledging the indie wrestling scene once again, which I thought was pretty cool. But the talking point is the disagreement between Sami Zayn and Jey Uso. Jey Uso basically cost Sami Zayn the match tonight against Ricochet. No doubt about it. Sliding into the ring. Sami, very confused, got right in the face of Jey Uso. It's only a matter of time now, guys. They are 100% turning on each other, aren't they? 
I love it. I can't wait. This story is so good. You might have seen Tuesday that they completely rebranded NXT. So that's going to be something interesting to look out for. Moments before they did, Solo Sokoa won the North American Championship. Again, they did reference it and show you it on SmackDown 2. But then Solo Sokoa, oh my God, he picked Sami Zayn. He told Jey Uso he was off his game. And his shock of everyone, including Sami, he asked Sami to go with him to the ring where he defeated Mad Cat Moss multiple times. Sami Zayn helping Solo Sokoa. No screw ups here by Zayn. Honestly, this is great. Elevates the NXT North American title, puts eyes on NXT and the story's good. Don't forget on Raw this week, it is the United States Championship match between Lashley and Seth. Freaking Rawlins? I thought we got rid of the freaking. Mm, maybe not. Everybody's favourite. Jojo Siwa was on Smackdown this week in the audience, but that's not the point. That's the point. That is the Triple H point. Stephanie McMahon's been practising and she's got it down good. Bailey and the Women's Tag Team Champions were also on SmackDown this week. Really interesting segment. Of course, they spoke about winning the titles. Raquel came out. A beatdown after the match by Damage Control led Shotzi to come out and help Raquel. Didn't see that one coming. Let's be honest. They've just replaced Aaliyah, haven't they? Oh boy, poor Aaliyah. But a nice face turn for Shotzi Blackheart and... Some TV time, that's always good. And Liv Morgan challenged Ronda Rousey to an Extreme Rules match. Now, everyone's thinking Shayna Baszler's got to interfere here, which I agree with. That's my first thought. But what if Liv's got a plan? Liv seems very confident right now. I don't know, man. I'm not sure. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. If you are new to the channel, make sure you already headed over and hit the subscribe button. I'm out of time with the graphic. I don't care. Make sure you turn on those notifications. You'll never miss another upload. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Peace!